fix up and stuff and kind of get things going. You gonna wave at me, homie? You didn't wave at me, dude. That's just not cool. What is up, everybody? It's Bloodstalker. And that's right, we're back with some more Landless. Now you know why we're here. Of course you know. There's another update. <laughs> I'm telling you, Code, Code Bullet is just like, it's hilarious. The dude has been busting butt. He's fixed a lot of graphical issues. He's optimized some of the graphics. He's done this, he's done that. It's like never ending with the guy. I mean, the guy is a one-man beast, and I give him props and everything for that because it's pretty cool. Now you notice we got a laptop now. There's a lot of new things. If you're playing on Alpha.33, make a new game. Don't try to continue with one of your other games. I love how you can see Leavenworth right up there in front of you now. It's pretty obvious. See, before you had to drive for a while. So, yeah, this is landless, guys. We got old Professor down there. Professor Goodman can wait. There's some other things we need to talk about first off. But while we do that, let's go ahead and... We know that this, yeah, it doesn't sound good. All right, yeah, yada, yada, yada. I know what I need to do. We've got to do some crafting. We can unengage from that. So, what did he add? Well, something we kind of added that's kind of cool is you can hack in the game now. <laughs> Don't ask me. Don't ask me, man. It's craziness. It's legitimate craziness. All right, so we need to craft a motor. Machinery. See, I love this. Right now, there's no search function built into it. Eventually, though, that could become a thing. Just keep that in mind. Um, Code Bullet's pretty cool. I mean, he left some comments on the videos and joined it. Um, some of the things we found in the game, he was able to use and fix, use it to fix it. So it's pretty cool. So I mean, I like I like game developers who watch videos and just learn and and see what needs to be fixed. There are some salty um, guys out there, but none of the guys that, that we've talked to on this channel, um, Cold Games, uh, Escape Sierra Leone, um, Slayer from Escape Sierra Leone, um, Code Bullet now. Um, the guy, the guys from Rising World. I mean, there's been a lot of folks that have stopped in and made comments. Badia, Semaphore, they're real helpful. I mean, those guys are awesome. I mean, they they pay, they really watch people's videos. I can assure you, 100% of that. All right, let's get through this real quick while I run my mouth. All right, we know what we need to do. Come on. All right, we need to craft. Now we need to craft the basic engine. Craft that item on up. Yeah, baby, we got this. Now, my thirst is doing all right. Hunger, sleep. I'm okay. I'm getting a little cranky, but not too bad. So, wow, that red on that green lettering is hard to really see. I think it's eight, that's 88%. Now, we're going to equip the basic engine. I know. I know. We got this. All right. So, we're going to take this. We're going to close this window out. And we're going to drag it over here to the basic engine. There we go. Yay. We got a motor. I'm not. We've all seen what he has to say get out of that now the thing that they added though is hacking that's kind of the cool part let's get over here to Leavenworth now in here the the professor basically your your girl who got who, who the professor helped get off of some boat um, think of kind of like water world I would almost kind of venture to say that their story is kind of similar to that I'm not saying it's a rip off from that please don't take it that way because I like what I love water world I know water world was not a very popular movie with folks but it was like one of my all-time favorite that and the postman love those movies wasn't a big Dancing with Woods fan, though. Just just really wasn't. So anyway, um, you know, I kind of see like a little theme because they're... I mean, I don't know what's going to come about this, honestly. No, get off of it. Get off of it, man. Where'd the, where'd the box... Oh, God, I hate that. I always think I'm like too close. Come on. There we go. Give me that box. I want to get the crate. Take all that goodiness. Is there anything else that there's sharks? Sharks are falling. Now he did add a new shark, a hammerhead. He added squids now. I mean, there's a lot of stuff he's he's adding. And I give him props because, you know, put throwing objects in a game like that, and they've been tastefully done and well done. I mean, this Leavenworth, you can tell he worked a lot of time into developing that and, and making that imagery for it. And developing that is so much better because we, we all remember what this little place was when we first started playing this game. And that was like a couple weeks ago. I guess that's my whole point, is the fact that you've got somebody who's dedicated to their game. Saving. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, this, this has always been a forced save point, by the way. We all know what happens to him. He ends up getting caught, found out by the pirate guy. We're going to come up here and park. And we're going to check this place out, because some things have been done here. 
I love this. I really love this game. I'm not, I mean, I, it's fun. I think it has a great potential. Look at that. You got the beacon right over there to go after. Oh, check this out. This is new, I think. I don't remember these being here before. He cleaned it up, though. Wow, look at that. Dude, this is so freaking cool. What is this? Terminal? What's up, homie? You guarding the, the sacred black... Oh, it's the black ice. So now you have a point of interest. So you get the black boxes off of the towers, like that one right there in the distance, and you bring them to him, and he will do stuff for you. He will, like, yeah, give you goods, services. I, I'm not, I'm not going to get like that now. Don't get all freaky. But he'll take care of... Oh, God, that sounds even worse. Let's just say you will get things you need from him in a non-bad way. Makes sense? So that boat's not... That's cool, though. So a lot of this stuff is not interactable. I don't know if it's going to become interactable. Jump over. Come on. There you go, Bubby. You're a good boy. So some other things is the hacking is what I really want to talk about. You get tech points for it. Um, you can bl bump up your, your, your basically your, your skills at it. So hacking and landless. Professor Gooden made sure your boat was equipped with the right software before your escape. Here, let's just check this out. Hold on. All right. Sometimes it's just easier to come to the Steam page and show you guys this because this is kind of crazy. So Professor Goodman made your, made sure your boat was equipped with the right software before your escape. Time to open up that command prompt and hack those blueprints from Echo Tech. So this is how you can get some better blueprints and stuff like that. All blueprints must be hacked in order to learn them. Hacking can be accessed by going to the boat's console screen, crafting an equipment screen. A new button is available called Tech Tree. Players can look up, look at blueprints from different areas and compare stats, and the player has a chosen blueprint here she wishes to learn. They will click on it and try to learn the button. This will bring up a DOS window, which the player could all, is a player already already booting up the hack plugin, simply following the directions of the screen to process. Is that not freaking cool? I mean, for people my age group who understand the DOS environment, you know, that's old school, and that brings back memories because the days before Windows, before Windows went nuts, you know? Back when you had that little 96 baud, 9600 baud rate modem when you stuck the cradle in. Oh, the good old days. So anyway, <laughs> that's just some of it. Now, be careful though. If your connection gets terminated, this will result in data corruption, lost tech points, and dispatch of Echotech and a grab drones to your location. So they'll come after your ass, man. So it comes with a price. Such a baller concept. So this is where, I, you know, in the beginning I was talking about Waterworld. Well, this takes Waterworld to a whole new freaking level, dude. There was no tech like this in Waterworld. So this is pretty baller. I mean, it's cool. Now, added new creatures like we talked about. The shark, the, the um, hammerhead, the octopus. Content finished on third-story buildings found out uh, found in the world. Remind players of empty bottles. Remind players of biofuel. Remind players. Of so little reminders, things like that. Flat cannon no longer fires when destroyed. Um, biofuel exploit fixed, enemy raft engine sounds changed, something better, shop NPCs now wave and greet the player. So you have all these like little just small things. And I don't know how he's putting all this together. Here, let's get back in the game. All right, we're back. Sorry about that. I just, I, it's, sometimes it's just easier. But he's been doing a lot of like little things here and there to kind of fix up and stuff and kind of get things going. You gonna wave at me, homie? You didn't wave at me, dude. That shit's not cool. I do love this, though. You come in here, and he's brewing, cooking up potions. He's cooking up... It's like medieval times here. He's, he's you know, it's it's a, you can tell it's an... Uh, ap, ap, uh, what do you call it? He's making medicine. That guy. Yeah, that guy. Look, he's even got it up here. Got the sound effects. I mean, you got decorations. You've got a lot of cool stuff. The stairs, man. I, I wish he could find a better model for stairs. I'm sure, I guarantee this. I guarantee he'll end up changing this out eventually, because... The ramps and stuff, you know, you want something kind of cool. I mean, everything else is so well done. You don't want the ramps to ruin it for you. Look at all that. You get a lot of loot now. And they, he's fixed it where you can just, you, you open up, you instigate it, it doesn't just do it for you. Can't do nothing with that. But look at this place. Look at that up there. Now, that is baller. You see what I'm saying? Oh, that over there, too. See? Wait a minute, those bad guys? They weren't trying to shoot me, were they? I've never seen other people on the boat just kind of tooling around. Apparently, they now have aggro as well. So, that's something else to think about. Let's see, this is just so cool. Oh, we're a little stuck on that. It's a little crowded through here. That probably does not need to be there. It probably needs to be moved over. Or that needs to be moved in. I don't know. But it's kind of tough to walk through there a little bit. Um, so, anyway, you come back here. You can do some business with the guy if you want. I will take some... I'm just going to take raw potatoes. Because we figured out raw potatoes... 
Health, let's see, a cooked potato gives you 15, 30, and 10. And it's 3, 15, and 10 raw. 5, 10, and 10. So I'll show you the difference. We'll buy, we'll buy 10 fish. Why not? Then we're going to buy 20 potatoes. Then we'll actually buy a couple pieces of raw meat too. We'll buy 5. I'll show you the difference on the food. Um, water wise, we really don't need water. We really don't need water anymore for the simple fact that your boat can do it. Okay, there you go. Thank you. So anyway, oh, it's starting to get dark already. So you got the tavern over here. I mean, you got a lot of stuff. Look at this. This is pretty cool. A little bricks, a uh, little brick ovens back there. I mean, the detail is really getting there. I mean, he's really doing a lot with it. And I know we keep talking about this, but I mean, the reason I keep bringing this game up and I keep doing videos on it is because not a lot of people are playing it right now. And I think you guys need to be aware of it. Whether you want to play it right now or you find it 100% playable in your world, I would definitely keep an eye on that, what, how this is going to end up turning out because, I mean, it's kind of cool little, it's a cool little concept and that he's taken and really gone really far with it. Can I, can I punch you? No, I can't. So anyway, let's get back over here. We're getting kind of slow. We're getting cranky. Getting a little cranky now. Um, let's see. We want to try to find some loot. What's over here? This is new. I didn't even see it when we got off. Oh, that's neat. A little one-story building. Oh, check that out. A little sub pod. I love how it just... It reminds so, like, you know... Oh, look. You can even climb up here. Oh, that is cool. Got a fabricator. It's neat. I mean, you just the little detail. I just if this, if this stuff could be used, it'd be even better. You got anything I can take from me, homie? I'm just really wanting to thieve right now. Is what I'm doing. Take all of that. Pallet jack. I can't believe it's already getting dark. There we go. You can jump off a one-story building. It's just fine. I tell you what. What time is it? We need to eat. Whoop. Inventory. I didn't know you could pause it like that. That's good to know. Here, we're going to go play around. He also fixed the jumping, so you don't have to, like, there's not, like, like you walk into something, it's easier to jump, too. All right, let's come over here and look at this. Tech tree. Let's look at this real quick. So, let's look at plumbing, just for shits and giggles. Needed tech points, five. How many? I have no tech points. Oh, wow, it takes a lot. Mechanical? So basic rudders, propellers, so everything takes fun. Smart, dual layered, echo. Oh, wow, so you can get different versions of them. It doesn't really change much. I guess the quality of it, and like the, uh, I guess, I guess it's going to be like the quality and grade of it, I guess. So we really can't do anything like this. Force 46, smart water. That's a fast engine. So we don't have any tech points right now, so we, we can't do too much. However, we can eventually get to that point. So let's drink some water. Let's eat some cooked potatoes. I'm going to collect some H2O out of here. Go ahead and fill up our water bottles. So, so cool. So you got cooked. Okay. So meat, let's look at the meat right now, because I want to show you the basics of what the, what's the best food to eat. So meat, before you cook it, is 5, 10, and 10. Oh, here, let's, we're going to cook one. Just cook one. And we're going to cook a fish, too. Do I not cook the meat? Oh, there it is. So we got the cooked fish right here. So the cooked fish goes to 10, 15, and 10. 5, 10, and 10. We know the potatoes go from 3, 15, and 10 to 15, 30, and 10. So the hunger, it does more hunger for you. This doesn't do it. It does half the hunger. Let's cook raw meat. I think you. I, I thought you could do it like that. We're just gonna cook one up. Basically, what I did was right before I cooked it, bam. And now you do need two raw meat though, so that goes to 10, 15, and 10. So it's basically the same thing. And but it really hits your thirst because the, the cooked potatoes only do your thirst by 10. These guys do it by 15. So I mean, the raw potatoes are where it's at, honestly, guys. Now we gotta drink water. All right, close that out. Let's get refill. All right. Do that. All right, so there we go. The music to the game is pretty cool too. I really enjoy it. All right, let's save real quick. Sleep save. 
So basically, if you don't know, the story is you're escaping from pirates. Your partner in crime, Mr. Good Professor Goodman, equipped you with a lot of tech. He also sent you on a mission. That mission, well, the mission is to destroy all of these like little tower things. Yeah, boy, didn't didn't get daylight yet. Requires a floating platform item. Oh, look at that. Pretty cool. Now, when you cook those potatoes and stuff, they cook back here on this little grill. That's kind of neat, I thought. I mean, so you could live on this boat. You don't have really a place to sleep. I don't know where you're sleeping at. Maybe that folds out or something. I don't know. But regardless, the game is get, the game is more than playable by far. From a lot of the stuff we play, I mean, it's it's just as good as everything else. So keep that in mind, guys. Um, what was that beeping? I don't know. All right, let's get some more water in us because we're thirsty. Need another potato. Now let's go looking around and get out of the inventory. We want to do some looting over here. Did I go down this way? No, we want to go over here and look. I want to check this place out too. So at the end of these piers, he's added these kind of like little junk stations. Or like crafting areas. He's got a generator. Looks like you've got... A, what the hell is that? A jar? I don't know. A helicopter? It's crazy, man. It's crazy. Oh, the transition's a little real, though. But... There's a lot more stuff he's adding in. I'll brighten this up for the video. So you got this bed. Look at all these beds, man. This is pretty neat. <laughs> this is like the hotel. I can get up here. I'm having trouble seeing myself. Oh, there we go. And you got like a little dining area up here. Now this is pretty neat. I mean, look how... Oh, hey. Shark, shark, sharks. Everywhere I go, I see those beady-eyed <laughs> beasts. If you could take out the whole neighborhood of sharks, I'd give you something that'll make your shark. Okay. Got our first quest. So there are a lot more quests in here. There's the, um, of course, the one we never did was the baby baby one or whatever. Oh, crap. We'll have to come back for that. Um, saving the girl's baby or whatnot. So. Oh, you take damage jumping in the water that high. Well, that's messed up. You shouldn't. I don't think you should, should you? I don't know. Maybe there's a, maybe there's a shark we landed on. Maybe he stopped our fall. I don't know. But anyway, so with this with this latest update, I'm going to start a series on Landless, I think. I really want to. I want to play this game and like really experience more of it than this opening scene every time. So we're going to start taking out all the towers. We're going to start taking out as much crap as we possibly can and just kind of go from there. Uh, <laughs> I didn't quite make it, did I? All right, let's see if we can at least sleep again. I want it to be daylight before we say goodbye, for crying out loud. I don't know. Okay, there we go. It's still not daylight? Wow. Well, well, next time we play, it's going to be daylight. I thought I saw something out there. we got some sharks to kill. We've got stuff to go after. Man, we've got a whole world to explore. So, we're going to do it. So anyway, guys, if you liked the video, make sure you leave a button. I know we didn't really do anything in this. We just kind of talked about the update. And that's really what I wanted to do in this one because I want to be able to focus on gameplay next time. And so the next video we do on this, it's going to be gameplay. We're going to go out and we're going to start breaking everything. We're going to explore the world. We're going to get in fights with drones. We're going to start doing some hacking. We're going to become somebody. We're going to become a contender, damn it. By golly. I am somebody. So anyway, as always, guys, this has been Landless. The Alpha Dot 33 update. So I want to be able to shoot those planes down and stuff. Seriously. I wonder where the planes are. Where are they landing at? We got to find the rest. We got to find the other city. Seriously. There's got to be another one. There might not be, but we're going to find something. Till next time, folks. Peace out, y'all.